Born in 1952, Harold Ferber lived the first few years of his life in the notorious Gap Cottages in Alice Springs. It was basically a, a half-caste, if you like, settlement uh, out of town and um, we weren't allowed in town itself. He was a survivor of the Stolen Generations. I was removed from here when I was four years old and went over a thousand miles north. In later years, he joined the push for reparations to be paid to the children who were taken. I never saw my mother again. He finished school in Darwin and Adelaide, where he played high-level footy. He was an absolute midfield genius. He played in a winning under-19s um, premiership side for North Adelaide. Mr Ferber returned to Alice Springs in 1975, where he was key to Pioneer's three premierships in a row. He helped set up the Central Australian Aboriginal Congress, was a deputy director at the Central Land Council, and the Aranda Elder was key to setting up the Desert Knowledge Australia precinct. He brought a wisdom uh, and an experience from his, from his heritage that really spoke to that need to, to understand that all of our organisations needed to be sustainable. He was campaigning for what he felt was right to the end, leading the charge to stop the NT government from acquiring Anzac Oval to build an art gallery. His last uh, direction to me was that we've got to continue fighting the Northern Territory government to stop them from stealing Anzac Oval from the community. Harold Ferber died on Friday, aged 69. He survived by his three children.